Hey guys, Billy Jenkins here with Silver Creek Doodles. Today we're grooming one of our golden doodles, so let's get to it. So not only are we gonna be grooming one of our golden doodles, but we've got this grooming kit right here. It's a vacuum and the whole grooming kit, and I'm gonna do a review on it. So we're gonna unbox it, and I think we're gonna use Dave, so all of our dogs need to be grooming, but I think he's gonna be the best because he's kinda of gonna be the fastest. But I am super excited to try out this product open the box and see what's in it for you guys and then actually use it and see if it is a, a good product that just anybody can use. All right, so here is our box that it came in. So I'm super excited to try one of these because I have so many families that ask me to do grooming videos on their puppies and just to figure out something, like send them links of what I use, I've got, a kit that has the scissors and all of that good stuff, nail file, nail dremel, you know, the, the clippers, all of that that's just for hand, it's not motored. And I um, I want something that, that people can, can work together with. We've got the pup well kit and you'll see another video on that. But I'm gonna try this out and I'm hoping that it's gonna be a good one for my families. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. So we've got our attachment here that is our actual cutter. Here's the vacuum part that we'll attach here. And I love this stand. So we've also got this small vacuum attachment that is a small cutter. So if you wanna use it around the eyes or the pads, or anything like that, you've got it. Here is the Dremel. So these two attachments go on here. This top actually will pop right off and we'll show you that when we use it. And then we have, this is like a Furminator. So you're able to brush with this. Now this is not for dogs with hair that does not shed, but if you've got a lab or you know some type of dog that has shedding hair this will be perfect so that is kind of that's really cool and we've got labs so we'll go ahead and show how that works so here is a brush that is kind of you know one of our our brushes that helps with longer hair i know with our doodles you know it it will do us good but we've got to also make sure that you know, we get deep and down if the hair is long. So this is good for, for shorter hair as well. Now, this is actually for furniture. So if, or to clean up. So if we've got an area, if we wanted to vacuum this, you know, if we groomed on top of this, or you've got your couch or your rug, you need, need to do a little bit of cleanup, this does that too. So that's kind of exciting. So let's go ahead and get one of our dogs ready and then we will show how we use this. So here's our baby boy, David. We got him in the grooming room and we're gonna go ahead and give him a bath. You can see he's actually not dirty, but his hair is long, but we definitely have to get him clean. So we got him all wet down. He's been a good boy. Then we got them all soaked up. Got to make sure you really get in there and clean everything really good. Get all the oils off of the hair. Now we're going to get them rinsed back out. Make sure you get all of the suds out of there. Oh, and now we've towel dried them. Shake, shake, shake. What a good boy. So here is our high powered blow dryer. So I could not recommend this enough. It helps just get the hair and give it more body so it doesn't lay flat or stay crinkled. Look how beautiful his hair is, my goodness. I hate to cut it short, but that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> that's just the way that we like it. Okay, so as you can see, we just got him bathed, blow dried. You didn't see I did trim his nails up, but just cut them with my clippers 
and then I'm gonna round them with the Dremel. That's gonna be part of this video too. Um, so his hair is not too long for most. Most people would want this length at a normal cut. I like short. I want them short. I want them to look sporty, um, athletic, you know, tomboy, masculine type of look. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna try the different lengths out for you guys so you can see too. Uh, what the lengths are, but we're gonna go pretty short for our normal groom because it needs to last me, you know, a good six to eight weeks to get back to this length, maybe, you know, four to six actually. Just because I do bathe our dogs, you know, once a week if we don't have puppies, once every two weeks if we do have puppies. You know, these babies are in bed with us, you know, the dog, the big dogs. So, um, you know, we just wanna make sure that they're clean and they smell good. So let's go ahead and try this out. So we did go ahead and connect our, you know, clippers to it. I am so excited for this. So the 23 is actually the largest. So let's go ahead and slide this on here, easy peasy, and see what length it does. You're a good boy. All right, so power is on. So it, it's given a good suction. You're okay, Dave. It's given a good suction, but it's still, I want it to do a little bit more because I want it to pull up all the hair. So this is on the middle suction. You're okay, baby boy. Turn it on. And we always want to go the way that the hair lays. So like I said, this is the largest guard. I guess let me get the side so you can see it. So it's definitely cutting, it's definitely sucking it up. For one, it's not leaving a mess, which is nice. Um, and it's doing a really good job, but it definitely, it definitely is too long for me. So let's go ahead and get the shorter guard. You okay, baby boy? We're actually gonna go down to a nine. So that is a 23. There's 18, 12, and 9. I'm going to a 9. Like I said, I just I want our dogs to have a tomboy look. Just push it right up. All right, and push it down on there. Looks to be pretty snug, and let's go ahead and try it again. Yep, that's the look that I like. So I don't know if you might can see how short that is. It's really short. That's what I want. That's what I like. And you see, oh, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see in here, and I'll zoom in on it later, but all of the hair is getting sucked into here, so it's not making a mess. It's not falling down. I'm used to this because I, I already have our big grooming, you know, whole setup, and I have it actually attached to a shop back. So this is what I like. Now, it is leaving us with some lines, but you know what? That'll go away, you know, in a couple days to a week. This is kind of the great length for our mama groom. You know, y'all know if you see us when we get our mamas and we cut their hair, this is the great length for that. Now, another note, and this is with all grooming. You want to make sure that you push pretty hard to the body. You know, you don't wanna just go over it real gentle. You know, it is going to cut it, but it's not going to get everything the same length. You need to push to the body and just push down to the, to the whole length of the body. You're a good boy, David. Now, we already washed. We already blow dried. We did already, you know, brush out so there was no tangles. But this boy's hair actually doesn't tangle. You know, thankfully, it's because he does shed a little. 
um, and it does not tangle, but you gotta make sure that there are no tangles or you're gonna get this thing right here, you're gonna get it pretty gummed up. Now, you would not want to go this way. You need to go the way that the, that the hair lays. And like I said, push push on the leg. Now, when when it gets to where there's going to be small areas, you don't want to push too hard to where anything is going to go through here because it will cut it shorter. So you just got to make sure that on flat areas you push kind of hard and then you work around when it's, you know, more flappy areas or smaller body parts. All right, so I am gonna quit talking and let's go ahead and fast forward and get this done. All right, so we are gonna stop really quick. It stopped, you can hear there was a different sound of the suction and it stopped because our container is full and we're not even halfway done with our baby boy. But we've gotta make sure that we keep an eye on it and we dump it, so for one, it doesn't get hot. And for two, we just don't want to mess anything up. So stay where you are, Dave. All right, so we got this push button. We are pushing it out. And look here, guys, it's all Dave hair. So hopefully my boy will be good. I'm gonna tell him to stay. I'm gonna go in the other room and throw this away. I will be right back. You're gonna be a good boy. You have to stay. Stay for mama. Stay. Stay. such a good boy all right easy peasy if I didn't have Dave on the table I would have showed you but all you do is pop this open and I just stuck my hand in there and pulled it out but I'm sure you could just push on it and or you know it would it would come out so easy peasy and I dropped my filter somewhere so let me go find that stay Dave stay All right, so I did drop it in the trash can. So this needs to make sure it is here so it doesn't suck hair into the motor. Pretty, pretty smart. We gotta make sure it stays where it's supposed to. All right, so we are hooked back together. Let's go ahead and get started again. We are so close to being done and our container is filled up again, so I need to go dump it. All right, easy peasy, dumped it. Gotta make sure that you still have that filter on there. Double check this time that I didn't drop it. So we are almost done, so let's go ahead and get finished. Now, there might be times if you can see where there's hair caught. I'm going to take that off and get the hair out of there just so we make sure we're getting more room for cutting. Okay, you're going to fall off. 
Alright, sit. Good boy. Stay. It's total normal for hair to get caught like that though. In any clippers. <laughs> Okay, so now that looks pretty good for me with that length for what I'm wanting. But next, we've got a few other parts that we have to get shorter. So I like to get that private area, you know, the wee wee on the boys. I like to get it cut pretty short, obviously not, you know, irritating the skin, but definitely getting it cut short because it's going to have it be cleaner and then um, his bum seems pretty good but I might hit up just right around the rectum and then we also need to shave the underneath of the pads <laughs> and this means that we're actually going to do it because I do it with my other clippers without a guard on it now I've got to be really careful because I don't know these clippers we don't want these to cut our dog so we're gonna have to see you know my other ones i'm super easy with just you know going right through and pushing through on the pads and getting real close up to the skin so let's try it out we'll let mr dave be our trial boy now you see his head i've got to take my blend in scissors and get that all blended in kind of looks like a bob cut but since we've got his body short we got to kind of get it all blended in where his head's not too big All right, so I am very, very happy with this. Now I'm going to use the Dremel. We already trimmed the nails, but we're gonna switch the top out here with the Dremel part so it actually sucks up the powder. So to just remove the top, you just twist it. And to put the other one on, you just get it where it falls down and twist it into place. Pretty simple. All right, and since I am right handed and I'm on this back side, I am going to switch him around so I can do the nails easier. Good boy, sit. Good boy. Isn't he so sweet? Okay, baby, hold on. I think just one for the suction should be fine. Oops. Twist that white part around. It, see, it's got two different options. It can go out the side or the top. I like the side, that's what I'm used to. So we've got this baby boy outside. You can see his body looks fantastic. Now the back of the head looks like a bob cut, so we definitely need to get that trimmed up. His feet look like the Grinch feet. So if you don't have scissors, there's not really a way to fix this without scissors, and I'll show you in a minute, but look how handsome my boy is. Like I just cannot even get over what a good looking boy he is and how easy this machine was to use. He's got a few lines down his back, but like I said earlier, that will blend in in about five to seven days. You won't be able to see those lines once his hair grows a little bit. All right, guys, so as you can see, we had him outside. His body looks great. So I'm super happy about that. I think it's a very 
very good product for all the things that I've used so far. Now, to do a full grooming, you're gonna have to have a pair of good scissors. So there is a company called Pupwell that um, I'll put the link down below. I do have a code for me, that link that you should use. But Pupwell has their own training courses, their videos of you know how to cut ears and the head and the feet and nails and all of that stuff so I definitely recommend them but this video is not about them it's about the actual grooming kit that we've been using but I do want to say if you want to end up watching the full grooming you could leave your dog with you know these Grinch looking toes and not you know finalized head and it's gonna last you until their next grooming appointment but if you want to do a full grooming you're gonna have to get a pair of scissors so I like the curved ones you can see they're curved I'm gonna show you so this part is not about the kit that we're reviewing but we are gonna come back and clean up with their vacuum you know the what we cut off so let's go ahead and show you that part all right so we're gonna have mr. Dave Stand up tall. There we go, baby boy. So what I like to do, we already went down the foot as much as we could with the clippers and we shaved the pads and we already did the nails. So now we just need to, you know, round it. So, you know, depending on the amount of hair that is on your dog's feet, you might have to do a little bit of blending. You don't have to have blending shears. I'm not gonna show those. Those do come in the Pupwell kit, but I'm just gonna kind of show you. I just am layering, kind of. But you've gotta be careful because it's not very forgiving. So you just have to be careful and not take too much off at one time. But since we're already, you know, had done a short cut, like kind of this summer cut, tomboy kind of thing, then it's all right to have it short on the feet too and not perfect. All right, so look at this foot compared to this foot. So it's not exactly perfect. You know, I'm not in my grooming table and you know all of that stuff so it's not perfect in here it's hard to kind of get in front of the camera and do it trying to get good angles but it'll be good it, whoa, be careful <laughs> but it'll be good enough so let's go ahead and do the same with this one just cut the same direction just like round the foot And then I'm gonna come over and kind of layer just to thin it out. I just want my dogs to look like they have a puppy cut. I like the puppy cut when their hairs are first starting to grow out, not super long. Some people like the long look, but you know, we have six that live with us full time and it's just hard to keep everybody, you know, fully groomed and if we want to go and have fun and go places and come back and get baths and stuff like that we've just short is good short is good here of course we want to make sure the faces still look good the tails aren't cut short all right do those feet kind of match yeah they look pretty good all right so let's talk about the head so i did go ahead and trim up his eyes last week so we don't have to do too, too much here. Unless we just want some straight lines. I would use my blenders normally and blend this out where it doesn't look as thick, but I'll do it with this just because I want you guys to know you don't have to have blenders. It's just the only thing is blenders are more forgiving to where when you cut with these blunt scissors, You've cut that much, so it'll have to grow back. But it is hair, so it's no big deal. All right, his chin is long. So I do, with his body being short, we need to trim up that chin. All right, come here, Dave. All 
I just want to round all this and blend it in to the head because we did cut the neck short. Now, I don't like whiskers to be poking out, so I always cut them off. Not, it doesn't have to be every one, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just don't like them sticking out. All right. <laughs> You're not giving us a good angle. Again, I also trimmed his ears a couple days ago just because they were looking kind of wispy, so we don't have to do that. All right, the top of the head. I like to just come through and do layers down to the ears. I like layers to start about here. And if they look too heavy, you might have to go a little bit more. But I like this look compared to this look. I'm sure I was in front of the camera for that cutting, but that's just the way it goes. But you see how it's blended up those? You are a pretty boy. Oh, I love this dog, you guys. All right, so let's look at the back of the head. Good boy, stand up for me. We gotta do the back of the feet too, the back feet, but we got a bob cut right now. So what we wanna do, let me go on this side. Is same thing layers just go in from where it's long and go down to where it's almost the same size is the same length as where we cut and if it's too thick just go up a little bit higher and thin it out the ears I just like to blend them in right where it rounds just blend it right in And they don't have to be perfect. You know, hair will grow back. So, you know, honestly, I come up a little bit too high on the back of the head on this cut. But you know what? It's all right because I'm going to blend it in. And then it will, it'll grow back out and we'll be fine. But it's, you know, we can, we'll make it work. All right. So I think that looks pretty good. Not too bad if we wanted to do just... A little bit more right in the center. We just don't want it to look like a bob cut. We just want it to blend. I think that looks pretty good, baby boy. All right. So last thing is our back feet. So same thing with the front. Now, if you ever see little wispies like this, you can cut them off, but always know the anatomy of the dog. See that pad right there? We gotta make sure we don't cut that. But the hair, because of the clippers, they just didn't get that spot, so sometimes we gotta get it with scissors. All right, let's just circle around on the toes. Just the shape of the foot, unless you want it any larger. I want it just to be the shape. And then I'm gonna kind of pull the hair up some and do some layers just to blend it down. You gotta be careful not to take too much of chunks out over top of the toenails because then when the toenails show, sometimes that's not very attractive, but again, it will grow out because I've done it. All right, that one looks pretty good. Can I twist you, baby boy? You are a smart, baby boy. All right, stand up for mama. Hey, stand up. Good boy. All right, same here.
just layer that up. And I think our boy looks pretty darn good for a kit that is portable. You know, it's not that expensive grooming kit. So I am very excited about this. <laughs> and my boy is happy. But let's go ahead and get all this cleaned up. We're gonna use this kit. And then I do wanna sit down and kind of chat with you guys and let you know all the goodies. All right, so now I'm gonna clean all this mess up. So we've got this part of a vacuum, which is nice, can get into little nooks and crannies. And then we've got this that actually has a brush on it. So you just push and remove that. Let's see, let's do this part first. Let's go on high. Soon we're gonna dry. So we have finished here. So we have used this kit and we are so excited. So our boy might be shorter than what you like. We used what the fourth largest. So there's one, two, three, four. So there's six guards and we used the third closest to the shortest. So you didn't have to go this short, but this is what I like. This is what I like to do. It's easy peasy, you know, it's just, it's just what we like here. So I'm super happy. So let's go ahead and get him outside and show him off. So I think he looks fantastic. You know, I love this length. You don't have to go this short, like I said, but I think it is perfect for him and perfect for what our weekly and, you know, monthly routine will work. But look at him. He is just so handsome. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this quick review again. I am so happy with this company. You know, they have done a fantastic job. So this is a bag that this can go in. Portable bag if you want to take it somewhere. I haven't put it together yet, but I'm sure it fits in just fine. You know, easy canister to take out dump it, put it back in, just make sure that that filter on the back, that it doesn't fall out like it did for me the first time, because you don't want to be in the midst of stuff and then put it back together and it not be on there because it could mess the motor up. But I think, you know, that was just me. I was trying to hurry with the video and all of that stuff. But great canister, you know, this hose connects super easy. Um, long enough, like you could see it was over top of Dave at some times, it didn't bother him. It's really quiet. So we only used it on the second speed. You know, there's three speeds to it. Um, the first speed I actually did use when I was doing the Dremel because all it needs to do is kind of suck that up. But for it to be able to do the hair, second and third speed is best, but I did fine on the second. Um, all of these tools, I do want to go over them again. But, oh, and they also sent another one before having to order it. You have another filter. Or if you throw it away on accident like I did, if I didn't catch it. All right. So, look here. So, we have all of our guards. We've got the nail Dremel. We've got the short one. I did not use this because I didn't need to. I might would need to on the puppies if I was using it on a small dog, but I didn't need it for Dave today. Um, both of these tops go on this. Now, this you have to charge. You know, that is a thing too that, which is fine. You know, it's just, you got to make sure that this stays charged. Like one, there's three bars to the battery and there's two now for what we just did. So I'm going to go ahead and charge it, you know, to make sure that we don't run out. This is like the Furminator and then, you know, brush, brush. And then when it gets full, you push it and it pulls it back and it sucks it all up in there and then do it again to brush. Great for long hair dogs or short hair dogs that shed, but not non-shedding dogs. You don't want to pull out that hair if it's not needed to be pulled out. And then this is a brush for like the doodles or dogs with hair that comes out that are shedders. That super easy. It's not going to pull the hair out. It's got soft bristles, but enough, I think, to do fine. But if your dog's hair is long, this isn't going to get to the base, so you will need a comb at some point. But push it and it, it should suck all the hair that it has on there up. 
And then let me put this down. These are kind of super interesting. So for cleanup, we've got this that is going to be able to go over like I did on this rug. You know, it's going to be able to kind of get that out. This one is to do hard surfaces or to get in little nooks and crannies. Both of these are really nice. I know, um, you know, this is kind of like listed for carpet and stuff like that. I don't know how good it would do for carpet, but it does pick up hair. So all of this area where obviously when I trimmed, it was connected to this, there was no hair. But when I had to trim with my scissors and hair was falling on the ground, I went right up behind it and cleaned up with this and my area is clean. So I, this is really, really good. I'm glad that they added these in. And lastly, they have the cord here to charge, you know, our, our part that, you know, has the, the clippers on it and, you know, the Dremel head. So here's the charger and then obviously the paperwork. So I'm very happy with this company. I think it did a fantastic job on Dave. I hope you guys would agree. If you're going to be doing full grooming though, like if this was body links in between groomings to where they don't have to look perfect, you don't have to have the scissors. You don't have to do that. And you could kind of guide it, you know, like the, to blend in the back of the head, you could kind of guide it, but you just don't want to, you know, chop them up too much. So it is nice to have a pair of scissors to be able to blend things together and do that. Um, so I do think that that is needed. And then a metal comb possibly to be able to get really deep down in there for doodle coats. Cause I've got doodles, but, um, yeah, but I'm super excited about this. So let me go ahead and sit down. I have a few more details to tell you and I, I really do recommend this product. Okay. So the main reason that I wanted to sit down and not finish, you know, the video while I was up and talking is because I wanted to read through this and look at the warranty because I know as a groomer, I need something that is going to last. If something goes wrong or messes up or something, I want to be able to contact the company and them be able to respond and help me out and send me parts or send me new stuff because this, when you purchase something, you want it to work and you want to make sure that you have backup. It has a 12 month warranty. So one year warranty and customer service that is available anytime. So that is super exciting that, you know, this company is able to like have a great backbone. Now I've never dealt with them before, but I am excited to know that they have a 12 month warranty for just normal in-house care. So if now I don't know if you were to drop something and something break, I don't know if that is it, but if you know, something was to go wrong with the canister or, you know, the motor or something like that, I think that they're going to help out. So to me, it looks like a really good thing. I am definitely one to say I recommend this product. So there is a link down below. Don't forget to check in the description about where to order this. There's a link and I do think that they are giving me a code. So check that info. It'll be down in the description and hopefully you guys can enjoy it as much as I do. Like I said, I do recommend to get a pair of scissors. Um, you know, Pupwell, this company here, it's kind of shiny, so you can't see it, but Pupwell is also a company that I deal with and I use their products solely. I used to have all of our big tools that, you know, I had bought from grooming companies, but her kit is fantastic. So she is a breeder that I actually know kind of very well. And she came up with this and I'm so happy for her because she is doing fantastic and it is a great product. So I do recommend this. I do recommend, you know, the pup well, but I definitely want to do a video on that too. But I also have another one of these that I'm actually doing a video on here in the next couple days. So don't forget to watch that. And then I'm going to do a comparison. So to see which one is better or which one I recommend. So don't forget to hit that subscribe link guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.